Hi, today we are going to be talking about how to take photos, pictures from a website. Um, this could be important, especially when you are helping. For example, if I have, uh, if this page you see Russell Brunson, for example, if I were to work with Russell Brunson, right, and I want to get all his assets out so that I can help him to do another funnel, right? So you need to take the photos out, the the logo out, etc., etc., so that you can use the assets, the image, everything, in order to create another new funnel, another new website. This has happened to me several times when I work with dental practices, and they have their website ready, they have Facebook ready, but they don't have like a proper funnel to bring leads into their business. So what I need to do is I need to get all their photos to put it so that it looks nice inside the landing page, the funnel that I built for them, and it is not stealing because it is their asset and I'm using it for their benefit, it is theirs anyway. So for this case, uh, please try not to use it for bad things, but still use it uh, wisely, right? Before I proceed uh, showing you how, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe to support this channel. I'm a growing channel and I hope to be able to really show people how things can be done uh, easily if they have any problem when doing their digital marketing works, right? So let's jump into it now. Okay, let's just take an example of Russell Brunson, right? So you see there's a lot of photos here. There's photos here, there's photos here, there's photos here, and there's photos here. And there's also a photo in the background. So you see like this is actually a background image. And this is the logo, right? If you want to, there's one way that you can just take the photo. First, you just right click on the logo itself and you see there's a page, place for you to save image as. When you click save image as, you can save the image into your computer. But what if, like for this photo also as well, just click save image as you can save it as well, right? But what if the background photos, right? For the background photos, you will know that when you click on it, there's no option to save. When you click save as, you will, you will open up the option to save the whole file instead, uh, the whole website instead, which that is what we do not want, right? Even for the logo, right? You can click to save. The pictures here, you see, can all, all save image as, but the background, you cannot click to save. So now, what can we do, right? Uh, the old method that I use is I click, then I use uh, view page source or inspect. So what does it do? You open up a code for you to find the photos. For example, you just view page source. So you see this is the, the, the page source on it, in it. Um, do not be scared. You don't have to look at everything. You just have to control F. Control F or, or in Mac, I do not uh, command F. Um, it's just to find uh, the, these certain words in the document, right? So I want to find JPEG, JPEG, right? So you see there, they will show all the JPEG title. For example, like this, right? Just highlight it, right click, then go to. Then you see, this is exactly the background image for this one. For this one, okay, let me see, for here, right? This is the same one. Then you right click, just save images. So yeah, so this is how you can just easily take the photo here, like like from here as well, right? See, this is the image. Um, okay, one of the image. So there's a lot of images. So you can just easily just save as, save image as, right? You can just save as JPEG image, and yeah, this is this is literally how you do it, uh, the manual way. And you can do PNG as well, search for PNG. So PNG are usually for icons and things like that. Um, where JPEG is just for the image because only PNG you can do transparent background. Most, I, I might be wrong. There's others, other, other, other format as well, but PNG is the one that I'm familiar with. As you can see, you see, here's the, uh, the icon. So for example, if you see a very nice icon, you may want to swipe it to use in your funnel when you want to help when you want to help them right see even this x is a is a png right so this is the manual way you can do it the you also can use as inspect right when you inspect it's a bit tough because you need to click on it and then you will see uh, the jpeg name here you can go click on this arrow button Right, and then you can choose the section that you want to really check it out. Lah. You want, that you really want to check it out. So for example, you click here, then you get to see 
uh, like this whole thing right you get to see the jpeg is all here so you can directly take the link from here as well so another way that i want to recommend to you all here which is very easy <laughs> Um, which makes things it's just a few clicks and you can get the pictures already instead of you going to the file you know going through all those codes that make you feel out very scary is this uh, web uh, web web developer uh, plugin uh, not plugin club chrome extension okay so when you go to i'll put the link down in the description box below so you can uh, immediately download this and you can see um, this is web developer tools and from here, there's a lot of things here that you can check if you are like a coder, you want to, you want to really look into the size, everything, right? But for us, you just want to take pictures. And we do not want to touch HTML, CSS and things like that, which I'm not very familiar with as well. So you just go to here. And the moment you install, you will find it. Let me see where is it. This one, the gear button, right? You click on this gear icon. Then you click, you see there's a lot of things, right? Let's disable cookies, la la la. I just go to images since I always use this for images and just view image information. Click on this, voila! You get to see all the images here. So, all you, you see it is all laid out for you already. All you, have to do, all you have to do is just pick the image that you want, use it. You just have to right click, save images. So, this is a simpler way other than going to a code for you to get all the images. So if you find this helpful, uh, kindly subscribe to my channel. I will appreciate it a lot. I hope to make as much impact as possible by sharing all these uh, very relevant and important, I think, how-to videos. So um, do comment if you have any things or any question you want to ask. I'll reply all of them. And like my channel and yeah, subscribe. So I see you in my next video.